Hey friends, Joe the Farmer here. In today's video, we're going to talk about the Massimo T-Boss 550. So if you've been following the channel, you know that this thing showed up a few months ago and uh, we put it on the channel. It was pretty and clean and I like to do Easter eggs in my videos, right? I like to kind of tease something and then, you know, we'll test it and, you know, actually get to experience something and then we'll, we'll talk about it again. And that's what we're ready to do today. If you're considering buying one of these, that may be why you're watching this video. You know, you're thinking like, hey, I'm, I really like the way the thing looks. It looks like a great package. What, like what's the real world stuff, right? Is like, there's not a lot of videos out on this thing where it's getting dirty and ripping around a farm and you know, being used. I can tell you, we've ripped it around. We've had a lot of fun with it. And uh, I'm going to tell you the things I like about it, the things I don't like about it. And I thought it was appropriate to put it up here in the most beautiful part of our farm. Um, this is probably one of our favorite places to take a side by side. A lot of us will, you know, come down from the house, pull up here with trucks or side by sides or whatever it may be, if it's not hunting season. And we'll just come over here on a clear day like today and we'll watch the sun go down and we'll watch just a beautiful sunset. So I love 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 this look this kind of color scheme so what they've done this is the tractor supply model they also have them for again Lowe's and Walmart and they're sold in dealers so it's not just a tractor supply but this actual setup with the veil camo and with the black wheels is a tractor supply setup it does not have power steering I don't necessarily think you need it unless you're four-wheel drive but we're gonna talk about this thing and if you enjoy this video you know what to do takes you two seconds it's free just subscribe help us out we would appreciate that that really helps us and then if you enjoy this and you get value from it and you like side by sides and being on the outdoors and sunsets and all the cool stuff that we're going to offer today give us a thumbs up if you could be so kind so anyway let's hop in here let's start talking about this thing because there's a lot to cover in a short period of time so let's do it so i tried to clean it up as much as i possibly could there's still mud on here there's still dirt in here i blew it out and did everything i possibly could but it didn't really help and at some point i need to take this windshield off because you know that plastic kind of gets stuck in there that's one thing i don't like about it i don't like that you have to take these things off and pull that plastic out but let's talk about this thing so it's 496 cc's so it's almost 500 cc's it's not 550 it's 496 and um is that powerful enough well look at the hill that we're on i mean coming up this hill and going down the hill yeah you know, we call this hill the gauntlet which we've taken electric golf carts and mini bikes and side-by-sides and diesel side-by-sides all kinds of things up that gauntlet just to you know really push it and see how it does i haven't done it with this yet because this doesn't have enough hours on it i'm going to properly break it in because what i don't want to do is have an engine problem or something we give it a bad review because something dumb that we did you need to give it some time you really need to let the engine break in over time anyway that's enough about that but we will take it on the gauntlet so Looking at the tires, hopping in here, this is important to me when you start looking at stuff because you don't want to buy a side-by-side -side and have to replace the tires right away. These are actually really high quality tires. I'm impressed with the tread, you know, it, it grips great, but not just that, the ply on them. I mean, they're, they're durable tires. These are not just off-brand, you know, junk tires that you're gonna have to swap out. You do have adjustable shocks here. All you do is you twist this around. There's a tool where you can twist that and that will give you a softer or a firmer suspension. Grease circs everywhere, have not greased it yet. I'm going to, I need to get all my grease tools out because it's that time on the tractors and everything else. Um, has a 3,500 pound winch over here, which is really nice to have. You see there's debris and all kinds of junk in there. Nice, nice, nice grill guard on there. Um, headlights, you know, everything's very easily you know, accessible. It has A-arm guards, which is nice because that's gonna help protect all your equipment you know, from brush and everything. We run through brush all the time. That's like a constant thing for us. So if you're watching our videos, you know we're running through brush. There's that veil we talked about. I mean, it is just such a cool color scheme. And I know video doesn't always do justice to things like this, but if you could see it in person, you know, stop by a tractor supply and just go look at one. I'm not saying you have to go buy one, but it really is a nice looking machine. Nerf bars or rocker guards, whatever you want to call them, these come standard on here. They're not flimsy, they're actually pretty stout. These doors come standard. Again, Tractor Supply, what they'll do is they'll come up with a model, all the features that have to be put on there. There's no accessories. You're not gonna go into a Tractor Supply store and say, hey, I wanna buy some doors for my 550. They're gonna say, nope, comes with it. And if you want them, anything that doesn't come with it, then you have to buy it from the manufacturer. But the doors are pretty stout. I love that they're really thick plastic. They're gonna take a beating and not really have a lot of issues. You know, this is actually probably the part I'm most impressed with. This is not a big machine. This is not made for doing, you know, massive, massive farm chores. Massimo has machines that do that. This is not it. This is a light to medium duty machine. It's gonna do everything you really need it to do. We have a full digital screen. If you put it in reverse, which I'm gonna get rid of this backup alarm. You have a backup camera, you have a forward camera, you have, there's your winch, 
lockers, which if you're not familiar with lockers, if you're a serious off-roader, lockers are gonna be very important to you because not just four wheel drive, but also being able to lock the front and the rear differential is huge. So uh, you have a tachometer over here, which gives you a lot of the same information over here. So this is a little bit redundant, but it's very cool and you need it for the cameras. Turn signals, four wheel drive selectors, automotive style handbrake, and you can adjust the wheel up and down. So um, yeah, windshield you can adjust also, which is really cool. Uh, you can put it all the way out if you want to, which I think is nice, especially on a pretty day like today. And you could mount a you know, rear view mirror there if you want to. So you got some handles, all kinds of stuff, rear view mirrors. This is just about ready to go on the road if you legally can do that in your state. That's not my decision. It has seat belts, it has everything you need. The roof is really in, smartly kind of angled for tall people. I am tall people. You know, I'm not a short guy and I have tons of headroom, <laughs> all the headroom in the world. So everything about these machines is very, very tight. Uh, they come over from overseas. They're assembled in Texas. So you don't have somebody at a box store who's, you know, they're not mechanics putting together. The, the people that assemble these put them together all day long, every day, that's their only job. You could tell with how tight everything is and how well everything is put together. If you look under this machine and you see all these zip ties and every like little spot where a cable could be falling down, you know, that's just, that's really, really well done. Again, grease irks everywhere, two inch receiver, which is awesome because that is a pretty stout receiver that's, you know, all welded to the frame, rear view camera, which I, I, I think it's crazy. It's awesome, but it's crazy. Dump bed, dumps back. This bed will hold 330 pounds, which is pretty light, I think. You know, a lot of them will hold 500, 550. That's one thing I don't like. I'd like to see it carry more. Now listen, I will I put more than 330 pounds in the back? Yeah you know but why did they say that i'm not really sure um i kind of feel like you could put more in there but it's also not that huge of a bed it does have great tie downs and it does have these slats in here which if you're not sure what these are these are so you can cut a board and put a board across and actually do partitions you can build something that, where things won't slide around all the time if you're riding coming here to the engine this is a lin high motor lin high has been making a lot of machines for a very long time they had a partnership with yamaha for years and they know what they're doing it's really easy to get to there's your oil filter. You know, I, I've heard that it's really difficult to fill it, but that may be from someone who's just not used to working on machines in tight spaces. All you have to do is unhook that little doohickey right there on that shock absorber. The bed will flip back. You'll have a lot more space and you pull the seats off. Okay, here we go. All right, fuel tank, air filter, all very simple to get to. And uh, it looks way cleaner than I thought it would. So these mud flaps must be doing a pretty good job of, or, you know, the wheel wells keeping debris away. What I wanted to show you is this compartment here, which this is great because this is like a nice little storage spot. So what you could do is you could put, you know, you could put any kind of tools in there or things you want to bring with you. Flashlights, you're going camping or doing something like that. You can fill that th stuff up with batteries or whatever you're going to need to take with you. I feel like this is the kind of thing you could really kind of take a little trip with. All right, let's talk about what I like about it. I like the size. I really do. I didn't think I would like a mid-sized machine as much as I do, but it is incredibly handy to be so compact and still it's almost like a four-wheeler with a body around you and with storage you know the biggest problem with you know a four-wheeler is one seat and there's not a lot of storage but this really is a small footprint to have that much of a spacious cab that's as comfortable as it is and it handles great like it is the suspension on it is fantastic like it, it will eat up as many bumps as you give it and you don't ever feel like you're losing control of it. You feel like you're 100% in control. You're not getting jarred around and you're not losing the fillings in your teeth while it's banging you around. I don't like the capacity of the bed, which we talked about the 330, you know, as far as weight capacity, um, but I understand why they did that. This is a mid-sized machine. I'm really accustomed to larger machines. And for me, sometimes I found myself wanting to go take the T-Boss because I really do like the ride that much, but then I'll go to another machine just because of the bed capacity. Now Massimo does make uh, bigger machines, which at some point I may get an opportunity to test some of those and you know, kind of share my thoughts on those. But the bigger machines, they have one that's an 850 cc machine and they have one that's actually a thousand cc machine and they i mean those are beasts like they they're big big time work machines but what do i like this for i mean this to me is every time i'm going out to the barn i kind of like i just love the way it looks i like the way it handles I like what it feels like. like i just i just enjoy riding it you know it's just something you really kind of gravitate towards to hop in the cockpit and just go go visit the neighbors go do other things i don't usually go to it when i'm doing 
big work, if that makes any sense. I hope it does. Uh, the other things I love about it, I love the aesthetics, I love the way it looks. I like the heavy duty tires. I have not punctured a tire yet, which I do all the time out here. Believe it or not, it doesn't look very you know, tre treacherous on camera, but there are thorns and rocks and stuff everywhere. I'm always banging up tires and repairing tires. Uh, have not repaired a tire in here yet. Uh, it's very, very fuel efficient. Now it's a smaller motor. It's a 496 cc motor. You know, that, that's not a super small motor by any means, but it's not a big old gas hog like some of the, you know, larger, older side-by-sides we're kind of all accustomed to. It sips fuel and it is, it's just great on fuel. I don't, I don't know how else to say that, but the technology in it, I think is incredibly cool. The backup camera, 100% being honest with you all. Like that's my job here is to be honest with you, my audience, I owe you that. Um, I didn't understand the backup camera. I, at first I'm like, well, why would you need a backup camera when you can see behind you and in front of you? That's just kind of ridiculous. However, as I'm backing it up, I notice that the camera in the front and the back, you can, you can move them and you can see exactly where you're backing up to a trailer or in the front. If you're, you know, you can't really see over that hood. If you're off road and you're kind of looking for things or, you know, where you're trying to drive that can help you. Now, is it necessary? I don't know. I mean, it's there. It's for the price point, they're giving it to you, so why not have it and enjoy it? But I could see the backup camera being huge with safety for kids, obviously, and then backing up to trailers and stuff, because we, we pull trailers out here a lot. We're always pulling something or towing something. So I do think that that's a great, it's a great addition for the backup camera, the front camera. I can see how people would need it. I can see how some people would be like, hey, you know, I don't need it, whatever. Comes with it, so it's free. All right, so some of the other things, I, I think that probably the biggest the biggest plus for this machine is the value, right? You're getting a windshield, not just a windshield, but one that flips up and has different positions. You have the rear view mirrors and you have the winch and you have the brush guard and you have the, you know, the nice looks and the nerf bars and the doors and the roof. All this stuff is included and all of it is under $10,000, which I think is insane. Like you you're not going to find other machines really that offer you this much as far as accessories for that price point. That's crazy. That's like, that's great, great value. So if you're out here shopping for a machine, you're saying, well, I'm kind of torn between this or that, or you do, you do what's right for you. And I know what the number one complaint that folks have, and I get it all the time about any of the machines that we work with. And they say, where do I take it for warranty work? Where do I take it for service? Where do I take it for, you know, if, if I have problems? Well, the truth is a lot of these companies have service centers. So if you have that as a concern before you buy one, I encourage you pretend like you already own it. Call either Tractor Supply, Massimo, or any of the other manufacturers that, you know, a Tractor Supply or a Lowe's or someone else or a big box store works with. Call the 800 number and see if you could set up an appointment. See if you could talk to someone who's a service advisor who would do the warranty work or the service work. Because if you can get in touch with somebody, you know, relatively easily, then I think that kind of takes that concern away. Now, I have a lot of big box store machines here on the farm and we beat the heck out of them. Like a lot of them, we beat the snot out of them, I'm not gonna lie. And I changed the oil in them, changing the oil is incredibly simple but we haven't had something to where one of these have had to go back. The, the, the concern of this whole like, well, what if the boogeyman comes to my door? He may, he may not. And to be quite honest, you could buy two of these for the price of one of some of the other big name brand machines. So just buy two of these and the odds are one of them is gonna be great, right? So I don't know, I understand your concern. It, you know, money is, money is hard to come by these days and you wanna get as much value as you possibly can for your dollar. Now, if you're gonna be doing this commercially and you're gonna, you know, be plowing for a commercial business, you may want to get a F-350 or something. I don't know. But for what most folks are going to do, I don't think you really need to be too concerned about, you know, beating these things to death. Lin Hai has been making engines and drivetrains for years and years and years, and they partnered with Yamaha to share a lot of technology, a lot of practices. Uh, you can Google it. It's all over the internet. A lot of the stuff, I mean, they build thousands of these things. The other thing, you know, some folks may say, well, there's not parts availability. Well, there's parts everywhere for these things. So they're building thousands of them every year. There's parts somewhere. So you're gonna be able to get parts. And again, if that's a concern, I would encourage you to go on either Massimo's website or Tractor Supply and see how hard it is to get parts. Cause I've tried that and it wasn't very difficult, you know, just so I, before making this video, I wanna see how hard is it to, you know, find service or find parts. It's not difficult at all. So uh, if that's a concern of yours, I would say go ahead and try and look into that. Okay, I promised you a sunset and it's about to happen. As we wrap up, I just wanna talk through uh, what this thing is going to be doing here on the farm. So uh, this is ours, it'll be here on the farm. We're gonna be using it and having fun with it and ripping around on it. We will keep you 
you posted. This is really just a 90 day review. This could, it could die in you know, two days and I will tell you if it does. But so far, our first really 90 days in, what I can tell you is that I'm super impressed. Like I'm like the rest of you, I've walked by these things and seen them and never really had a lot of experience with them. But I'm a huge fan of how tight the Lin Hai uh, drivetrain is. It feels absolutely bulletproof. It has a beautiful sound to it. Like if you if you know engines, you know motors, like you can hear a quality motor. Um, a lot of people talk about Hondas and Kawasaki's like that. Like that, the tone of that motor just sounds like it's doing what it's supposed to. Uh, this one has a lot of that also, similar to Yamaha. Go figure. We're gonna put the transmission to the test, the powertrain to the test. We're gonna do service videos on it. Any of these machines we bring in, usually, you know, I'll test them out, I'll talk about them, we'll give it some time, we'll work with them, we'll actually do daily chores we do anyway, and then we'll do some service videos. And you know, hopefully that brings value to you as you're you know either deciding to buy one or if you already own one of these things and you want to know how to service it, we'll do some of those also um, when the time comes. But um, I don't have a lot of negative things to say about it. You know, the payload could be higher. I really can't complain. The plastic's annoying that I have to like take the windshield off because that's one of my idiosyncrasies to where I have to, I don't want plastic things there, but that's like, that's it. That's all I can complain about. It drives great. It, um, it has a lot of power for the size of the machine it is. I, don't, I really don't have anything negative to say about it. That may change. That's my role here. Uh, I will continue to share and update with you what I think about it and uh, our experience with it. And if there's problems with it, we'll let you know. But so far, so good. The fit and finish and whoever assembled this thing in Texas, they, they do a fantastic job because the assembly is flawless. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. I hope you'll consider subscribing. It's free. Take you two seconds to hit that subscribe and give us a thumbs up. We would really appreciate it. And I will catch you on the next one. I'm Joe the Farmer. We out.